lost it. Hello, I've just set foot in my studio and there is a cobweb right here. Um, I haven't been in here in, I want to say months properly. Yeah, it's been months. It's a mess. So this is what we come into. Mm. I'm gonna try and tidy it. The truth is, I have just lost it. <laughs> the excitement for making art or being in a creative space. I kind of lost it. So I had an exhibition and I sold a few of my paintings. Not as many as I had previously, but the owner of the castle, which is where I had my exhibition, said that it's actually really, really good what I did. Um, and I sold more than the majority of people there. Apparently there've been some top artists there, um, like really well-known artists, and they haven't sold much either. That makes my ego feel a little bit better. But since then, I've kind of just lost the passion for it. I think because I, I don't want to keep producing stuff, as you can tell, there's paintings everywhere and I'm not getting anywhere with it, but then again, they're not on my website. <laughs> the website has been an up and down moment for me, so I'm going to get that sorted later today. I really, really am. I didn't get it sorted. We all know I wouldn't. And I haven't. Still. <laughs> Um, yeah. I don't even know where to begin. Mm. I'm gonna start with rubbish. There is loads of rubbish on the floor, so. Bin would be useful, a bin. Just in case you're wondering, I am removing cobwebs with a stick. I feel itchy everywhere. Fuck me. Oh, I feel itchy everywhere now. Oh, she's big. She's big. Right. I have some prints um, that I need to count and put on my website. I actually did that. I actually did that. <laughs> so, I'm going to do that. I've got them on my website. I just need to make them visible. So I might take that whole tray with me into the house. No wonder I feel itchy, there's literal spiders hanging down from the ceiling.
Must have been the last page I did. That was my favourite page. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have given up for today. I know it doesn't look like I've done much. I haven't done much, but you know, you girl can only do so much in one day. So I don't know what this will be used for, clip-wise. I don't know. Um, I have handed my notice in. <coughs> I gave them my notice today, the 13th, Sunday the 13th of August. So yeah. I feel like I should give some context. So basically, I have quit my job. Well, I've handed in my notice. Why I have left is because I want to find myself. Mm, that's actually the reason though, kind of. I feel like while I'm 21, in my 20s, got no real responsibilities, I'm not married, I don't have children, I don't have a house, I don't have a mortgage. Um, my hair is so frizzy <laughs> and dead. I thought while I'm young, I may as well be wild and free. Um, so I'm going to Australia for a 36 day tour adventure thing. And then from then onwards, I don't know what I'm doing. So, Did I mention I'm going to Australia? I don't know if I just said that. Yeah, I think I did. So yeah, I'm I'm doing that. And I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited. Um, I should also say this is the first time I'm ever doing anything like this. So. I want to say quarter life crisis, maybe, question mark, but I don't think so. I think it's a good step, it's a good step, and I'm excited, and I'm literally just like giving myself to the universe while I can, without like wrecking any homes or anything like that. <laughs> I don't know what I meant by without wrecking any homes, like, I've not wrecked a home before touch wood don't know what i meant by that um just going with the flow that is literally what i'm going to be doing seeing what happens and saying yes to as many opportunities as possible when safe when safe to do to when safe to do so you know i mean business when i put this jacket on girls oh sorry <laughs> there you go lovelies where's rosie oh rosie <laughs> hello so i'm going back to my studio uh i've set a timer for 10 minutes because i've not been in the mood for tidying Karen. Anyway, this is the state where you left it in. Not much was done. I'm going to try and do stuff. 
I don't even really know where to start to be honest so there's just so much stuff everywhere I need to I need to sell I need to sell my stuff I'm going to move this table under there but it needs to go at the back because it's the biggest I'm gonna do very well in Australia. <sighs> Those spiders are terrifying. But apparently, apparently there's not as many spiders as people think in Australia. So I've been told. So yep. If you have anything to say against that, please don't let me know because I want to live in blissful ignorance before I go. I have this whole little photo shoot area. I'm gonna tidy up. All my frogs are for sale. So. My timer has just gone off. And this is what I've managed to do. Have to take my veggies out of the oven. Karen. She says hello and says drink water. everywhere just watching me waiting for me if anyone out there is planning on building a studio or anything like that this is my one tip make sure you make a space to put canvases and that's it because I didn't do that and I didn't do that and I regret it because now I never know what to do with my canvases. Fresh ones and used ones. I honestly love this one. My alarm has gone off again my veggies my 
Marge has been following Dad around because he's been calling Brody. Brody's meant to be going on a walk, but Marge is following. <laughs> oh, now he's interested. I'm just moving everything over because, oh, that was my crock. Swear to God. I'm just moving everything into one place. that needs to go up there but it is very heavy so I'm not putting it up there on my own. I do usually push myself and I would try but I think that's that's a bit too heavy I thought maybe I could lift it and then, but I'm a bit small. Just think if there's a spider on this, I'm going to lose it. I'm asking for help. I'm not gonna ask for help. I'm just gonna wait. Um, rock solid, rock solid clay. Who doesn't want some of that? Am I right? Oh, here's some lino prints I made of a shell of a pizza. If you know about Pizzagate, um, and then another shell because we had to do shells for like six weeks without a break, then I quit. Here's my painting called Soon. I think that looks like one of those dancing cats. You know, the things with like a cat mask on. Cause I see that as the ear and that is the face with the like cat suit on. That's a foot and then that's a tail or that's a tail. And, and that's its elbow and its hand, you know, its arm. It's just like, I see it dancing like that. You know? I'm pretty sure that's called profile. I did it ages and ages and ages and ages ago. Oh, that's cool, look. I could do a... Uh, I could do a... Paint painting hall. Show you I can I can talk you through all my paintings. Or just show you all my paintings in a video. Would that be interesting? I don't know. Let me know. nearly fell that can go inside the house packaging yep i love that sketchbook so cool these more pots in the messy corner 
chuck him under there for now. Lol. That's for the drums. Ta-da! Ignore that. Can't believe I forgot to put that back. I knew I would forget something. I knew I would forget. It was right in front of my face, man. <laughs> Jesus. Going back under here now. I'm gonna try something. I will never forget this comment. One of my friends said, if this, if she could marry a painting, she would marry this painting. It's called Clear Vision. Love that comment. It's quite a jazzy painting though, isn't it really? This is what we've got. I think we've done all right, you know. I, I'm i honestly proud. It's a lot better than it was. We'll tackle the paintings and all that and the pots another day. But step by step, you're not gonna get it all done in one day. Sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. And that's fine. But at least I've done a little bit more now and it's less of a task. Less of a task. That wasn't meant to be offensive because of how awful that weird accent was. Um, yeah. At least I make it look easy. DIY umbrella. Oh. Just. Anyway, um, just in case you were wondering what I was doing with my vegetables, Ooh. I always eat with a steak knife because it's easier to cut, don't attack me. Um, yeah, it's got hummus, all my roasted veggies, cucumelons, that's what these little things are beetroot, a bit of feta, crushed seeds, cucumber and a bit of spring onions and stuff. I do love me a flatbread hummus and some vegetables. Okay, I'm gonna watch some Netflix. I'm going to watch, re-watch uh, an episode of Midnight Gospel that me and my boyfriend watched last night because I feel like you need to watch it a few times to let it sink in, you know? You'll understand if you're if you're a midnight gospel watcher. I didn't watch Midnight Gospel only because my laptop didn't turn on in time. That was so filling. <coughs> that was lovely. Very filling. If you're gonna make the same thing, do it with a smaller flatbread. Please. Please. I'm gonna hop in the shower because I have just bled through my pants and trousers. Women problems, am I right? That was a lovely shower. <clears throat> Ow. I was doing all these sorts of, um, like movements of air and you know energy movements a lot of like kind of like across the body over the back and then kind of like cape i almost saw it as like an energy cape i was putting over myself just felt really nice if you um next time you're in the shower 
you feel a bit silly when you start but <laughs> um once you start moving and just going with what feels good it's it's nice it's really nice actually i'm getting all my hair cut off it'll be like i'll show you i'm thinking this kind of length but with like bangs and i think it'll work because like I want to have like little bunny tails and little buns and like I'm just so excited like imagine going oh, and then that's all your hair looking forward to it I'm gonna go now because the quality is not not there anymore see you soon thank you for watching I appreciate it I'm not too sure what I'm doing here but I've been itching to post a video so whatever this is Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon. See you soon.